tell us a story? Yeah, a story about rocks. Sparkly rocks. That's oddly specific. Okay, once upon a time, there was a magical geode. What's a magical geode and why is it magical? Well... Actually, geodes are not magical. They are rocks found in nature that have crystalline structures in the middle that are exposed when broken open. Well, yes. Ooh, let's go find one. Back to the story. This geode was magical because a fairy had spelled it into being and it was extra sparkly. Sparkly. Poppycock. Geodes form over decades, not by some magical pixie. Now, listen. So, hold on, everybody. In some ways, you're all right. Geodes are made in nature, take a long time to make. They're super sparkly, and they're just a tiny bit magical. Hi, this is Kit from the Walton Public Library, and today we are going to be making our own geodes using nothing but Easter egg leftovers, you know, the little plastic Easter eggs, and a common element used in pickling called alum. That and a little bit of patience, and we'll have our own geodes. So let's get to it. And here we have everything you need to begin the process. We've got alum. I found this in the grocery store in the spice aisle. We have basic glue, you know, good old Elmer's. Um, and then I have the eggs split in half. If they're attached, go ahead and tear them apart. We got a cup for a glue and a cup for sprinkling the alum. And of course, a paintbrush. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be painting a thin layer of glue onto the inside of these shells and we'll sprinkle alum onto that. The crystalline structures in order to make the geode have to have something to cling on to. And so we're giving it a base layer of alum so that the other alum will stick to it. And when you're gluing this, make sure you try to get as thin of a layer as possible. Um, because if it, it glops in the middle, it can cause a little bit of a mess. And try to get the outside edges, even though that's not traditional geode, it does make it a little prettier. All right, and now we're just going to open our alum, and we're going to sprinkle onto the egg. I do over a cup because it's easier to clean up. However, you can't just dump it into a bowl and scoop it in and then shake it out. At the end of this process, you want to make sure that you kind of tap it lightly so that you have all the excess off and then we will set it aside. And here's what it looks like after I've gotten all six of the egg halves done. And then here's what it looks like 24 hours later. For the next step in our process, we need three quarters of a cup of alum, a spoon, a bowl, a measuring cup, and some food coloring. So we take the three quarters of a cup of alum and we pour it into the bowl. Next, we will add hot water. We want it to be very hot, but not quite boiling. What I did was I took an electric kettle and allowed it to boil and then cool off just a little bit before adding it to my mixture. You can also put the water in the microwave or boil it on the stove. Just make sure that it is not actually boiling when you combine it with the alum. Otherwise, the chemical properties will be not quite right for making geodes. As for the alum, you should make sure when you're purchasing it that it is the kind that has potassium in it. If you buy it from the grocery store in the spy aisle, it will. If you try, try to do it by buying it in bulk, it may not, so just keep that in mind. All right, next we add our food coloring. There's no real precise amount to this. I would recommend quite a bit. So I did two huge squeezes here um, because it will have to be diluted through a lot of liquid. So um, the more the better. Now we stir it and we stir it because we're trying to create a super saturated solution. This is a solution in which it cannot carry any more alum. This is necessary to form the crystals. And so we'll be scraping along the bottom of the bowl a lot to make sure that there are no crystals left in the bottom of the bowl for the alum to stick to. Makes a pretty geode on the bottom, 
but not so pretty geodes inside of our eggs if that happens. All right, this looks pretty good. On to the next step. Now it's simply time to grab our eggs and put them into the solution. We want to be very careful so we're not knocking off any of our alum. And we want to make sure that it has as much exposure to the liquid as possible so that the alum has a chance to come out of the solution and connect to the alum inside of the egg. And then we'll wait for about 48 hours. And here it is, 48 hours later. And we very gently remove the eggs because the crystals are very, very fragile at this point. They still need to dry. And if you see, we have pretty good crystals. And all we have to do now is set it aside for about a couple hours. And here's our final product. We have six very pretty little geodes. If you see, we've got good crystalline structure and they are very sparkly and just a little bit magical. In fact, let me leave you with my unicorn who is recharging her magical abilities with the sparkles from these geodes. Saying bye from the library, this is Kit. <laughs> Unicorns aren't real, you know. Oh, shut up.